What's going on guys, it's your boy J-Ho bringing you a brand new video and today is Friday which means Zur is back. We're in the hangar side of the tower, the right side, and Zur is over here in the corner. So let's take a look at his inventory for this week, or I believe we're on week 9. So here's what he has for this weekend. Let's get straight into his items for the Titan. We have the Crest of Alpha Loopy exotic chess piece. This one came with full intellect on it. And the special perk for this one is Keeper of the Pack. It allows you to revive fallen teammates quicker and be revived faster as well. And also your supers generate an extra orb. So that's really good. It's really good in uh, Trials of Osiris. Really good in Strike sometimes. Any small team game modes, this thing comes in handy. If you don't have one yet and you like playing like Trials and stuff, I recommend picking one up for your Titan. For the Hunter, we have the Young Ahamkara Spine Gauntlets, and this one is a little bit different from the Year 1 version. This one has increased trip, trip Mine Grenade duration, and it also gives you an additional Trip Mine Grenade. Pretty good for the Gunslinger. Trip Mine Grenades are pretty decent in Crucible, and it's pretty handy now. It's a little bit better than it was in Year 1, so if you want to try it out, it's pretty good for Gunslingers. You can go ahead and do so. For the Warlock, we have the Obsidian Mine Helmet. This one has intellect and strength on it, and the special perk on this one is Nova Bomb Kills reduce the cooldown of your next Nova Bomb. So, really good against mobs of enemies if you're using Void Walker. It allows you to refill your super bar really quickly or almost immediately, depending on how many guys you kill with your Nova Bomb. It's pretty good. It was really good in Crota's N in the beginning part of that raid um, but there's there's areas of PvE that can utilize this perk so it's pretty decent it's pretty average or not average it's pretty decent in general in PvE I don't know what I'm saying anyways let's get into the uh, exotic engrams we got the exotic gauntlet engram for some 19 strange coins and uh, if you're looking to get some engrams you can go ahead and do so as of right now, I'm kind of hesitant in buying some engrams because I'm above that 310 light level and pretty much getting 310 exotics isn't going to do me that much at the moment. So I'm still waiting to see if we can maybe eventually get some exotic engrams to drop at, two, at 320. And so I'm still holding on to a few engrams and uh, maybe if we get closer to 320, maybe people will start getting engrams dropping at 320 I'm not sure I don't know how what light level everyone is but I'm around that 314 315 right now and um, I'm still getting 310s in my exotic engram so maybe if that happens soon I'll open more engrams but as of right now I'm kinda holding off on spending my coins on engrams and then we have the legacy engram if you wanna get a year one chess piece you can do so we have the three of coins we have the Glass Needles, Heavy, Ammo, Synth, all that good stuff. So that's what it is for this week of Zer. Thank you guys for watching. As always, like, comment, subscribe. Stay tuned for more videos, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.